Hello all, this is Halloween and today we're going shopping again. We got lots to do. So today we're gonna swing by Spirit Halloween. We're also gonna go to a few thrift stores. Whatever we can squeeze into this episode, I'm taking you with me. Enjoy. We're here at Spirit Halloween in West Shore Mall. About to go have some fun. My favorites at Spirit Halloween are the animatronics and all my maintenance stuff. So, you know, spray blood, spray glitter, bald caps, things like that. Let's check out the animatronics. Ooh, a monkey. Yeah, from a Chuck E. Cheese monkey. Ooh, I love monkeys. No, it ain't a Chuck E. Cheese monkey. Oh, he's a circus monkey. That's cute. I like that monkey. All right, let's go see some more. Oh, what cute striped top hats they have this year. A little clown costume, that's cute. They always have new stuff. I like to buy accessories here, but I wouldn't buy the costume here. Oh. Oh, you look like death walked over oh, my friend. Thank you. Skeleton with eyeballs. That's cool. Your host is not here. Right Ooh, a clown. I like clowns. Oh, he's not working. This one not working. Come on, clowny. Not working. Ooh. Oh, here's another clown. Oh. There he is. Oh, oh he's just cracking himself up. He's a little guy. Only about three feet tall. Three and a half. Well, this one. Ooh, I like that. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> I think he's hungry. Reminds me of my husband when he gets hungry. <laughs> I have her. Swamp thing a little bit. A face only a mother could love. 
There's more. Is this for this guy? Come on, you guys. These these guys aren't working over here. Look at that face. Reagan. These aren't working over here. Darn it. And the skeleton face kid. Come on, Spirit Halloween. Tighten up. Cool. You know I love Reagan. They don't, this whole part is not like plugged in or something. This is new. I love this. I was a Raven a couple years ago, and they only had like the, they didn't have the beak on there and everything, so I got ripped off. This is really cool. It says black crow mask. Okay, so this is something that has been perplexing me. Their wing selection is sparse, again this year, and they used to have a whole wall of wings. Uh, I think I just saw all of their wings for this year. This is it. You can be a butterfly, an angel, a fallen angel, heart, they got heart wings, and a small set of bat or demon wings. That's it. If you need wings, you're gonna have to buy them online because once again, they're failing in the wing department this year. Or you can make them. You can make some wings. But you're not gonna find them here. Here's my section. This is my maintenance section here. I don't buy these cream makeups. Just go online, get yourself some Ben Nye. These are the kind that melt off. They're just not very good quality. And honestly... Oh, they're pretty cheap too. <laughs> $4.99. So you won't spend much on it. But they just... If you're gonna paint your face, you want it to last all night, so. These are the bald caps I like, the cheap ones. Well, these aren't cheap, these are $9.99. I don't know why. I just bought a pack of four bald caps. I just bought them off of eBay. Um, here's the flesh latex. They have the large thing and the small thing. I've used latex in my costumes to uh, blend in my um, pieces any prosthetic or latex pieces I have for my face this one would work fine and it's only four dollars it's the same stuff pretty much scar putty this is their their nose and scar wax which I have from Ben Nye but it probably works about the same and you can kind of use that if you're allergic to latex um, and it's only four bucks here so this is the kind of things that I use, usually buy when I'm here. Spirit gum adhesive, uh, same thing. Uh, if you buy it here, I'll save you a little bit of money rather than buying like Ben Nye or uh, Meron. Um, it's just, it's cheaper. You know, it's more affordable. Makeup sponges, you can buy it at Walgreens or CVS. These say Spirit Halloween on them, so they're five bucks. I think you could probably buy them at Walgreens or CVS for cheaper. 
So I don't usually get those here. I'm looking for my spray blood. Or sometimes if I'm doing a costume, I like to buy these. These are great for Reagan. These would have been really good for Miss Argentina's wrists. These work really well. They look really real. They're $10, but you can use them a couple times. Latex will rot over time so you can't like keep them forever but you could use them at least for a couple times or a couple years in a row and, and then you'll have to get new ones these elf ears are great these are great they're 10 bucks too that's pretty cheap i can't think of anything right now that i'm gonna be that will require that this is like the monster wheel I was telling you about that I used when I was Beetlejuice. These are the same colors. This is about what I got. It's $10. It's pretty inexpensive. And just for doing like the green and yellow parts, like the, the rotting parts of the flesh for Beetlejuice, this is a great option. Mix it with a little sugar to, um, you know, if you can't do the latex. You can mix it with a little sugar for texture and put it on kind of mix the colors around. That's that's about what I used there the first time I did Beetlejuice. I don't have my stuff I'm looking for right here. Oh my gosh, this stuff is great. I'm gonna buy some just because I haven't had any in a while. Bloody scab. It's really cool. Um, and it'll last you for a while. Bloody scab. Um, so I used my liquid blood. For Reagan, this bloody scab would have looked more congealed. It's really good stuff here. $7.99, not too bad. And the scarecrow teeth, if you're doing a vampire, are the best to use. They mold to your teeth and you can wear them for years. I still have mine that I used probably 10 years ago and they still fit to my teeth and stuff. So if you're gonna be a, um, a vampire or Something with teeth like that, you're gonna wanna buy the Scarecrow brand. They're expensive, they're usually like 26 bucks for a pair. Oh, these are 19.99. I think it just depends on which ones you get. These are larger. So, oh, these are 20. So, I mean 19.99, so that's not bad. That's a really good price here. I still have mine, so I don't need any. So, these aren't gonna be as good as the Scarecrow brand. These are five dollars. So that should tell you right there. And definitely don't do this, or you're going to be kicked out of your Halloween party. Oh, here's the spray glitter. I love this spray glitter. It works really well. Like if you're going to be something like majestic, like a fairy, a unicorn or you know something like that this works really well it's only 6.99 that's not bad it'll last you for a while too you got all kinds of press on nails oh look at these sally ones look how cute there's some 80s um you know i haven't seen my spray blood i'm almost out of spray blood dang i wonder if they don't have spray blood this year I definitely don't see it even their wigs are looking pretty sparse this year. Amazon has great wigs and they run about on average $20 a wig. These, these are $22, $16.99 for this one. But Amazon wigs are actually pretty decent wigs. We're here at the hairspray paint section. I just got myself a couple bottles of white, a bottle of red, a bottle of white. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I had a moment there. I just use these for, if I'm using it like a hairspray, you don't want to use these like instead of a wig or something because it is hairspray and it's going to make your hair stiff and you won't be able to comb through it or anything, but I just get like the practical colors. I got two white because I'm about to do a costume where I'm going to need them. I'm going to get one black. And that should do me. Ooh, they have a gold. Gold and silver. Hmm. Don't think of anything that I need that for right now. 
might hit that up when everything goes on sale for 75% off after Halloween. <laughs> I got everything I need. They do have good, cute pantyhose here. When you're buying pantyhose, especially at a costume shop, you want to make sure that there's spandex in them or lycra. If they don't have spandex or lycra and they're 100% nylon, they're going to bunch up around your ankles and stretch out. You'll be able to wear them once. So if you're going to spend money on pantyhose, make sure that you have what you need in there so that they don't stretch out on you. Ooh, they have green. This would have been great to use for She-Hulk. Actually, maybe not because I was kind of barefoot. I like to cheat when I have to paint my whole body. Painting your whole body can be a pain in the butt. All right, so for example, right here, these are 100% polyester. If I get these, they're not gonna be tight. They're gonna be very loose. They're gonna bunch up around my ankles. And I probably would be able to wear them only once. So that's a no-go. I love this Beetlejuice song. So cool. And they also have the tombstone. Last year they had a Beetlejuice animatronic that was amazing. This is a whole Beetlejuice section. Where's Miss Argentina? That's cute too. Little sign. The bio exorcist. Troubled by the living? Is death a problem and not the solution? Unhappy with eternity? Having difficulty adjusting? Call? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. A little notebook. Oh, look how cute. That's a little, like, jewelry dish or something. Beetlejuice at the Horror House. Just looking at the little things before I head out of here. I got what I needed. It's not much. This is also a good place to buy like fake rubber bugs, roaches. Like if you're gonna be Mrs. Lovett from uh, Sweeney Todd, or if you're gonna be Oogie Boogie, they have the fake bugs. So any kind of like little things like that. This is a good place to get that stuff. And of course, decor. I don't really actually do a lot of decor. I mean, I do, but I don't. I'm not usually home during Halloween. I don't want to be that jerk off that did all the decorations and, and all the kids come by all excited and then there's nothing there. What does this do? This is cute. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh. I like to go around and press all the buttons. Buttons are like hidden today. Anyway, look how cute this Lydia doll is. <laughs> and Beetlejuice. I already have a Beetlejuice. Cute. I'm gonna head out, pay for my stuff, my goodies, and uh, see you at the next stop. I'm here at Goodwill on Gandhi. We got some shopping to do. So, because my shipments and stuff are taking so long, I may have to do some stuff on the fly. So I'm here today to shop for things that I can do on the fly. But check it out. They're getting their Halloween ready. See, this one knows what it's all about. 
So for one of my throw-ins and quick costumes, something that would be easy for everyone, Emmett Kelly. He was famous for being the sad clown, along with Red Skelton, I think also did a, a sad clown. Um, but he was the one who made it famous. So I found this pair of shoes. I just need a regular guy's pair of shoes. Um, my husband doesn't really have ones in this style, so I think I'm gonna go with these. They're only $6.96, so. Yesterday I bought a shirt and a hat for Emmett Kelly. It's basically any old thing. He is a hobo, sad clown. So you're just trying to look like a hobo. It's layers of clothing. Um, it's all different kinds of different colors and, and mixed patterns and torn pants and just rough looking. So that's what we're working on right now, trying to find stuff for Emmett Kelly. Something else you can do that's just kind of quick and fun and easy, you can always find at the thrift store would be like a dead prom queen. And, or you could be a dead bride. They always have wedding dresses. I got one for half off the other day. So those are quick and easy costumes you can do that you don't have to spend a fortune on. Now I want to find a plaid plaid shirt to layer in. I'm going to try and find a cheap one. Here's one for five bucks. It's not too bad. If I find one cheaper, I'll get it. Just to kind of layer in with the rest of my stuff. I just bought a gray pants that will fit me loosely for Emmett Kelly. I'm looking for like a utility jacket almost, but I don't see one here. If I can't find one of those, I'll probably just end up getting a brown jacket that's kind of messed up, which they have plenty of those. Lots of jackets here. And they have good prices on jackets here. So. That looks really nice for Emmett Kelly. <laughs> it's kind of hoping for some wrinkles, maybe a tear. <laughs> maybe I'll get some, get it for a little bit cheaper. This is like wool or something. We'll keep looking. I'm gonna get out of here. I got some my pants for Emmett Kelly, my shoes, a shirt to layer in. All I need is a jacket. But I did pretty good here, not bad. Let's get out of here before I spend any more money. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We at least got one full costume and some things we really needed. So yeah, when I go to the Spirit Halloween, I don't necessarily buy the costumes there because um, in my opinion they're too expensive they're not really quality so I, I usually you know just kind of create my costumes or throw them together from stuff I find at thrift stores and stuff I have at home and uh, it turns out pretty great I don't um, if you've seen some of my previous episodes that I've been doing costumes and stuff the ones that I actually create from thrift store items they're the ones that turn out the best for some reasons. I hope you loved it. If you loved this episode, we're gonna have a couple more Shop With Me episodes before Halloween, but cemetery tours, haunted places, you know, costumes, Halloween is coming up. And the most popular thing I hear every time Halloween's right around the corner is, oh my gosh, I don't even know what I'm gonna be for Halloween, I have no idea. Well, I'm giving you ideas, so. <laughs> Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.